Today we are unboxing the Econ, the Osaki Pro Econ. Uh, right now we're showing you the hardware that comes in the box. I just want to go ahead and explain a little bit of the things that come uh, within the box. Um, you have some boots uh, that actually go on the side of your footrest. Um, once you start doing the assembly process, you're going to see where exactly uh, this goes. Um, and these uh, primarily just go on each side of the footrest. Um, that way you have a little bit more support um, for the weight. Um, the other pieces that you will have in there are two um, hex screws. Um, one for each side of the um, side panels um, along with some washers an LED wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. Um, you'll also see in the package that there is two additional screws. Um, these are just spare screws uh, for where the foot rest uh, go. Um, you could just keep them just in case for whatever reason yours gets stripped or um, yours do not come with them. Um, the package does come with extra screws. First thing you want to do when uh, doing your assembly on the Osaki Pro Econ is you want to go ahead and identify your three air hoses and your power connector. Um, as you can see, everything does come labeled. You have one, two, three air hoses um, along with one power, um, power connector. And if you look at the bottom of your side panel, everything is labeled for you as well. Um, you would just have to line everything up numerically and just hook this connector up there where you see the red connector on the other side. Now you do have to bring the side panel up a little close. Uh, these are uh, pre-measured. Um, so if, if it feels like you don't have enough hose, uh, just bring the side panel a little bit closer because uh, everything is fitted to its measurement. Once you have uh, successfully um, input all three hoses and the power connector, you would want to just sit the side panel down on its frame. And slide back. Now what you're looking at is uh, there is a hole down here uh, that you want to line up uh, so when you're putting in your hex screw and your washer uh, that's exactly where it needs to go. Uh, so there needs to be lined up exactly there. Now you might need to push it in just a little bit just to make sure it aligns properly uh, but once you get it in there um, you don't have to put any more pressure and you can just uh, fasten that. And that's the same uh, procedure you'd be doing for both sides. I um, mean, every tool that you'll need uh, to assemble uh, will be in the box. So now we're on the other side. Um, it's going to be the same process uh, with finding your three hoses. Um, once again, everything is labeled. Um, on this side, uh, you do have six, eight, and seven. Uh, so just go ahead and you're going to follow the same procedure um, with the connector and the three hoses. There's a couple of things that we want to go ahead and uh, point out for you just to make the installation a little bit easier. Uh, we want to go ahead and point out uh, the brackets of where they need to be laying at. Um, as you can see, you have your main bracket here. Um, now there is a bolt that comes out of the chair uh, where you would be setting that at. Um, once you fleshly set that in there, you have some other brackets uh, that go all swell inside the chair. Um, once you uh, get all three of those in, um, you should be able to successfully sit the side panel down and slide it back easily. So the last thing you want to go ahead and do is just uh, screw in the hex screw. That way we assure that everything is secured on there properly. Now for the remote, it's fairly easy. Um, it's uh, in a little of an unusual place, uh, but it's not very hard to find. If you're sitting inside the chair, it's going to be on your right hand corner side. Um, there will be a little cover on there uh, that's a black cover, a black plastic cover. You just pop that up. 
and once you pop that up you'll see exactly where where your remote would go uh, so you can see it does have uh, four holes in here and we have four prongs uh, so you would just simply just stick it in there twist and your remote's installed now we'll be showing you how to successfully install the footrest now the first thing you want to do or look for is leather uh, covers that the manufacturer has uh, put here to um, hide away the brackets for where the footrest will lay. Um, it's simple, all you'll need to do is just pull them off and it will reveal uh, two brackets on each side. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to remove uh, the screw that sits on top of this bracket. Um, that way we, we um, can install the footrest properly. Once you remove the screw, all you have to do is flip up the bracket and it'll give you enough room for you to do the installation. Now the next thing we're going to do is that uh, we had these uh, also in the hardware. All you have to do is just slide those on each side of your footrest and then just slide it up. Now before we go ahead and do the installation, there is a connector and an air, air hose that will need to be connected here at the bottom base of the chair. Once that is secured, all you have to do is slide it back and lift it up a little. You would just flip the covers back and reinstall your screws. And then you would just re-zip the base of the footrest to the bottom of the seat cushion. There will be a little bit of Velcro that will need to be removed. Uh, that way you can go ahead and get your airbags on the side installed. Now getting that power cord connected, uh, traditionally we would find them in the back of the massage chairs. Now in this unique design, you would find it on the right hand corner uh, bottom. Um, you would just simply hook your power cord up and flip the switch up. But other than that, there you go. Enjoy. Thank you for watching.